Hey guys, we were, uh, we're we're creating this recipe book, which is a, a group of regular expression patterns that, that allow you to identify a lot of things that are common. And R Rizwan had a question about how this one was working. And so we thought um, we'd record a little short video here demonstrating a little tips on using regex. All right. So what's going on is this is our starting text, right? right. And then we're using regular expression replace to flip this in, in the sense of grabbing the year and putting it at the beginning of the string. So if we run this, we should get a message box with the date formatted in a different way, right? So notice that we have the 2023 here, we have the 05, which is in the middle now, stays in the middle, but the 15 go at the end. And so we flipped the 23 and the 15. Now, um, Rich one was asking, okay, but how was that done in one line? <laughs> right. Well, that's the power of regular expression. That's what we say. Like, once you learn how to do these kind of things, you're never going to look at uh, string manipulation the same way. So let's rebuild this very quickly because it's not that, it's not that hard well, here. Yeah. I was going to say is what you might do is Ace is go paste that in the regex 101. Yes. Yeah. I will do it, but let me build it quickly here because sure. it's not that of a deal, you will see. So what we're doing is first saying, okay, I want two characters. So I say digit two, all right? So that's the first two, I just captured that. Now I'm capturing a forward slash. So then I say, okay, I want to capture a forward slash. Now two more digits, that's the same. Then a forward slash, that's it. And then I want four digits. That's what I'm expecting it to do. And be careful because this is, you just did something that if the regular expression is in any, if the text is in any other way, it's not going to match. Say, for example, if you have the year in the middle, right? It's not going to match because we're expecting four characters at the end, not two, right? But now I got it. But now the, the question is, I need to capture these guys in a variable, so to speak. Well, in regular expressions, you can add parentheses in here and that captures it into the number, into kind of like a number pattern. Sorry. This is what is called a sub pattern. And this one is number one because it's the first parenthesis that you created. Now I want the second one here. And what I'm doing now is capturing number two, right? And then I captured the third one right here. And this is number three. And once you do that, now when you're replacing, now you use the dollar sign to say, well, the number three, which is this guy, I want it at the beginning. The number two, I want it in here. And the number one, I got it in here. Does that make sense? Yes. Right. So whenever you use the parentheses, you created what is called a sub pattern and um, a captured pattern. And if you don't name them, they become uh, numbers. You can use numbers to refer to them, but you yes. can add a name to them, all right? And that's what Joe was saying. Hey, let's, let's, let's show that. So let me grab this and let's do it in Regex 101. So if you can open up a website, oh, well, you have it here. That's it, so let's use this. Let's use the same example. And we said, you know, 1502, 2024, right? Now, here, remember, as I mentioned, they, if you don't have a name, they are grouped by number. Group one, group two, group three. But you can use inside the parentheses, when you open the parentheses, you can use the question mark and open and close um, you know, the less than and greater than sign. And in there, you can put a name, any name. So now we got we have a variable. And that, the first two digits were the days, right? And the next one is the month, right? Month. And then this one here is question mark year. Now, what happens is that I have groupings. You see that? Yes. And now, when I'm doing the substitution, then I could use those names to refer to them. Now, 
the way how this engine works for the substitution might not be exactly the same as how you can do it in AutoHotKey. In AutoHotKey, whenever we do the regex match, it creates kind of like a variable, and then you can use that variable. It is kind of like an object, and you can refer to those things in the object. But in the substitution here, I think you can use the um, name like this, I think. Uh, I don't remember how to do that in here, but I think here, group, uh, named group, here, G, something like that, I guess. Something like that. It's, it's kind of weird what you can do with this. Let's not use it in here because we don't what have I'm to. Using, so, yeah, what I'm using to do is in here. You will see I just do a regex match. We're going to use the text to capture it, the regex that we just created here. Oh, well, let me use the one that has the names already. Right? Here and let's put it in a variable called. You can name your variable whatever you want. Let's put it as a date. And now I could say, hey, message box, the date, the days, and then date, the year. Now I can refer to those names that I just created as properties of this, and let's comment this out, and this should work just fine. So if I run it, you see the 15 and the 2 and the 23, you see that? I created this as a variable that I can refer to. So hopefully that explains how you can do that in one line, right? Because which, when I'm regex replace, you can just refer to those guys in there. Which, so by I the way, that's what I wish. Um, the format command had a way to do something like that because I just, I hate the arbitrary like numbers on the, and when you have a long one, it gets very confusing, but go back to regex 101, Isaiah, and right. beneath your date, add a new date, but use dashes instead of backslashes. Right. So now if we have um, 30, 12, no, sorry, 12. Right. Uh, now this one doesn't work right because yes. we said that it had to be a forward slash right but, but imagine, and, and here's the other thing though i just want to say was imagine trying to do all this with like substring or something right and how complicated it would be but yeah you can make an or you know um to look for it could be slashes or backslashes dashes right. whatever right and or dots or you whatever. Know, yeah, it makes it so add, easy. Right, I can add dots or I could add, um, I could add spaces. Let me, the dash inside this thing has a meaning. So let me put it here. Um, spaces, dots, dashes. Now I'm just making sure that all of that is being matched. And now my date could be in several formats. Right. Now, the one thing is, it always, uh, I'm always expecting the days to be first, right. then months to be second, and then the year to be third. But we could make this regular expression match many types of dates at the same time. But it is a very tricky subject. But for what we're doing, it works because we know what, we, what date we're expecting. We're expecting this tool to have the dates in that format. And I just want to convert it into a different format, a regular expression that does that in one line. And then we don't have to worry about anything else. You just have a one-liner that converted the date into the one that I actually care about. So, cool. And also, what's not so obvious that Isaiah is kind of, because this isn't the main purpose of the video, we could spend hours and hours. Like our course is, what, four hours, I think, long? Um, the... Depending on where you are in your regex, if you're between the curly braces versus outside, the sometimes you need to escape certain characters. Sometimes a question mark means one thing, and sometimes it means something else. So regex is incredibly powerful. It is complex. Like, and you got it's a use it or lose it skill. Also, like you have to 
start using it, and then you, you freaking forget it, but you can pick it right back up easily. But it, it does take practice and um, applying yourself. But it's it's phenomenal at making stuff that allows it to handle different patterns that always show up in data. Data is messy. It's the one thing we know, right? And this right. Is way. <laughs> it is kind of like, instead of searching for very specific things, you're searching for ideas. That's what regular expressions are. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The, it's not the numbers five and three in that order. Is if I find two digits, one after the other. That's the idea of that I'm trying to capture, right? So once you learn that, holy crap, like you, you do not want to learn, you do, you do not use substrings and um, other things like that anymore because regular expressions are great. Yeah, because imagine, you know, if a space creeped in here somewhere or something like you, and you could build that where let's say the, the month and the day, sometimes it has the two digit, but sometimes the, like, what is that? May would be just five instead of 05. Right. right. It's easy to handle that in a regular expression, but with without that, it makes it crazy hard. Right. So I hope you enjoy that. I'll put the link to our course up here and uh, check it out. We offer a double your buddy back guarantee, so there's nothing to lose. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Cheers. Like the video if you learned something.